Good evening. I'm going to tie a fly tonight, um, and I'm going to show a way that we can use some flash on a lily booger that some people don't really do. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it can, I think. So I'll go ahead and start with my typical wraps all the way up the hook. creating a rough surface on the hook. The hook I'm using is an Eagle Claw. It comes from a different version of this pack. Let's see, I've got this one that I've tied several flies with. Um, these are bait holders and these are a different kind. Um, they have a smooth shank on them. They still have a barb, but I've depressed the barb already in my vise. Alright, um, the feathers I'm going to be using these um, kind of off-white hackles. I'm just going to pick a good one that has a good amount of fluff at the bottom. Because I'm going to use that fluff for my tail. Get a decent length. I'll take this one. I might end up using two. Okay. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to start peeling off the barbs from one side of the hook. Oh, of the hook. <laughs> of the feather. I'm just going to go a little bit at a time. Peel some off. Pinch this part where I peeled it. And I want to be careful that I tie this right at the end of this fluff so that I get as much length out of that as I can um, the problem is I don't have well I have white marabou but uh, I was trying to get this off white color going so I'll just keep going with this doesn't give me much much to work with um, let me go ahead and snip this Part of that feather shaft came off with the feather. And just keep building this up. be able to get some more length from some of these barbs on this other side too but I'm gonna keep going I don't need this part <coughs> I don't need this part on the feather for the rest of the fly so I'm gonna take it from both sides here same stuff a couple of turns to hold it down to use it. That's cool. Also with this feather, when it pulled off, this piece came off. It's a small feather. Very small hackle. Oh, it's all soft. And I can add that in there. And when it's all wet, I'll turn it so that it lays in like that. When it's all wet, that'll help. The length. 
cut off this extra bit. And then down one side of the feather, I'll pull off the barbs. I'll keep the other side intact. Just to help with bulk. It's not the most efficient way to get a tail to be bulky, but it is what it is. So I just keep keep going with this part here. get a good amount of fluff there. Is it a beautiful, amazing tail? Not really. For my body material here, I've got some, this is some yarn I picked up way a long time ago. It is Needloft, Needloft. This is yarn for plastic canvas. This is not yarn for wearing I think because it's very it's pretty rough but as you can see it's got kind of a shimmer to it which is kind of nice and um, if you take this yarn like most yarns uh, it's separated into it's like twisted like rope and you can break it apart and I've broken mine apart and fluffed it out some so that I can use it for the body. So I'm going to tie that in. Before I tie that in though, I'm going to get my flash. I'm going to be using this olive flash because the green will have a good contrast against these light colors that I'm using. Just popped out three pieces here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in on this side, on the back side. turns and I'm going to come this way fold it in half bring it down on the other side like this and tie down on the other side so it runs down the sides of the feathers and then I'm going to snip this off because this is a short section here. Um, I broke it up like that. That is awfully bright. Let's see if I can get you to be able to see that. Let me turn this down a little bit. There you 
can see it. It's way dark, but you can see the strands going across there. And different types of light. We'll go back up some. And then I'm just going to... I'm actually going to hold off on the next part until I'm ready for it. I'll go ahead and do it. I'm going to tie it in again so that I have six strands on each side. And this side is, a, is much longer, obviously. But I'm not using this for the tail anymore, these other side pieces. Okay. Now, I'm going to come to the front here. I'm going to wrap this yarn two times. I'm going to wrap it from the front to the back and then back to the front. And I'm going to take this here, come up to the middle. So I get some room to tie it off. Get myself a clean edge. gonna just help me build up some bulk on this body because I've got a good amount of bulk tying in that tail what I'm doing here is just making wider turns to get back to the front This looks like a lot of bulk, but I feel like I need it. This is kind of a woolly booger pattern, so the bulk is okay. You want your body to have something the fish can bite onto. Okay, so I'm going to come right up to the tail. I know that's a lot of turns on that, but some people would say that's way too much, but I wanted to get that nice and firm. Okay, and now I'm going to tie in also my hackle. And I want to get the rest of this junk off the front of here, so that the feathers are all on one side. That, pull this so they stand up more. And I'll go ahead and tie this in here. I'll find where I've started it. Um, often I would snip off this extra section, but I'm not worried about it being on there because it's just more bulk. Okay. Get that stuff to be out of the way. All right. Now. this point I got three steps to make and I'm also doing this without bead chain eyes which normally I would totally throw that on there or just a bead on the front but this time I'm just not doing that um, so I'm gonna take my yarn and just give it a gentle twist just so it looks bulky and I'm gonna come back here Just 
just start wrapping forward. Tidy up this head a little bit. One thing about that yarn is it's got some little stragglers that stick off, which is okay. But I just want to clean that up some. Now, this is the part that's a little bit different than what you normally do with a woolly booger. Uh, I'm going to pull these strands that were extra here pull those from the on the side and run them right down the side of the fly i'm gonna do it before i wrap the feather so, and it's kind of hard to see you can see that gives it some shimmer there with the light I'll cut this off I'll do the same thing with the other side. One, two. The other one's hiding down there. There it is. I'm just going to run it right straight down the side. Hold it in place. Tie it off. And then, so, here's one thing about this. Now, without that hackle, I could totally fish that the way it is. And I would probably put a wire around this. Um, you could also, instead of tying this in down the side, you could leave one strand and wrap this flash around instead of wire if you wanted to. Uh, what I'm going to do here is... And this is something that's kind of questionable because feathers are not that strong. But I'm just going to wrap the feather by itself. myself enough feather to go all the way to the front the way that I wrapped it so I'll wrap it wider so I make it all the way to the front Okay, and I'm not incredibly happy with how much there is on the front here. So real quick, let me take this off. This is a bulky enough fly that I can do this without much trouble. I'm gonna take another feather. Take 
the bulk off one side like I did before. tag in to tie on. So I'm just going to tie on an extra feather right here at the front. If this was a dry fly, you'd want to be more delicate with the shaping the head on that to make sure that it wasn't too big but this is meant to be a heavy fly so what I'm going to do is just wrap this kind of backwards and forwards to just get a little more bulk on the front this back some work my way back up the fly a little bit and I'm just gonna work on that cone shaped head build it up right down to the eye Hitch just to secure it a little bit, and then I'm going to take my whip finisher just a few turns of the whip finish. Snip. Okay. And since I've got a dark head here, um, and my Clear nail polish is really thick and goopy. I'm going to use some black. Go with nail polish. I don't have super glue. I just use nail polish. So I should try to get a drop on the end. So the idea there is that I have a little bit of hidden flash underneath the, the hackle. I'll just get that little line, that little line of flash right there underneath there. Um, besides what's normally on the tail, this, this part is pretty common. 
but I don't often see people put flash underneath the hackle. So, anyway, there's the fly of the day. Hope you enjoy it.